Welcome to the NMR Sample Changer Tutorial for the Department of Chemistry, University of Toronto. For the sample changer, all tubes must be 8 inches tall. Shorter tubes, such as 7 inch tubes, may break or be dropped. Use 5 mm diameter NMR tubes. Do not use 3, 10, or other tubes. Do not use tubes that have stopcocks. When making your sample, use at least 4 cm of solvent, about 700 microliters. Here's a quick video of the sample changer, putting a sample into the magnet. The robot fingers return to the, lo the location of the sample that was put into the magnet. So do not put samples or spinners underneath the robot fingers. There's always a sample in the magnet and that sample will be returned to the location under the robot fingers. The returning sample will collide with anything in its path, breaking your sample or the other sample. Automation will then stop. When you come to the NMR lab, clean your tube with a Kim wipe before putting it into a spinner. Then put your tube into the spinner carefully. You do not want to break your tube. Position your tube in the aluminum depth gauge, pushing the tube to the bottom. The solvent should reach the top of the opening of the depth gauge. The NMR tube positioned in the spinner is on the right. You can now put your sample on the sample changer rack. The large number on the computer screen is the next available location. Put your sample at that location. Enter your username and password to log in. On the screen, the green and gray locations are available to be used, but do not put your sample underneath the robot fingers. Next, enter the sample identification and experiments to be run and submit your sample. Here is the login screen with the sample location highlighted. We will now go through all the steps for submitting a sample and running the experiments. Type your username and then your password. To illustrate, I will enter a username and password here. Then, I will click OK to log in. Now we get the interface for submitting your sample and choosing the experiments for that sample. We have 100 locations, so a number from 1 to 100 will be shown on the screen. The location is now highlighted. You can also use any sample location that has finished and is shown in green after you log in. At the top left, you can select the experiments you want for your sample. Single click on the experiments in order and they will go into the queue below. We can enter the sample information in this panel. This will also be used as part of the file name when the experiments are saved. The sample can be then submitted to either the day queue or the night queue. Let us go through an example. Click on location 5, then single click on Proton in the Experiment tab. In the Experiment queue, the sample and experiment appear. Enter the sample information. This will be used for saving the FID. Enter a notebook and page number. Choose the solvent if necessary. Enter a comment 
that will be saved with the FID. We can now either choose another experiment or submit the sample to the day queue or submit the sample to the night queue. We will now choose another experiment. We will select a gradient cozy experiment from the HOMO 2D tab. The experiment appears under the same sample in the queue. We will customize the parameters by double clicking on the time field of the experiment. We have customizable parameters through pop up menus under the Acquire tab. We can update the time for the length of the experiment and submit the sample to the day queue. The time the experiment will start is shown under the, the submit button. Because there are no samples currently running, this sample will start immediately and we can see the acquisition starting. If we have another sample, we can now repeat these steps to submit it. After all our samples are submitted, we can log out by the Utilities menu, Switch Operators menu item. By selecting Switch Operators, we come back to the login screen shown before. Now we have a location 6 as the next available location. As an example, I will submit another sample as another user, this time in location 6. If you are submitting many samples, you do not need to log out. I will submit a proton and a carbon experiment. Then I will customize both experiments, then submit the sample to the day queue. I will log in as another user. After we log in, location 5 is still running. Location 6 is next in the queue and will start as soon as location 5 is done. First, click on location 6, select a proton and a carbon experiment. Enter the sample, book number, page number and a comment. Check the solvent. To customize the parameters for the proton experiment, double click on the time field. Wait until the progress bar is done. The acquire tab will now show customizable parameters. Choose the number of scans. Customize the carbon experiment the same way by double clicking on the time field.
change the spectral window and the number of scans. We can now submit the sample to the queue. Check the sample name and solvent before submitting. Location 6 is in yellow and is queued. Location 1 is in red and had an error. The green locations are completed. The blue location is currently running. All queued locations are shown in yellow. Empty locations are in grey. Switch operators to come back to the login screen and location 7 is the next available location. If you made an error, you can drag the entire sample to the trash. Do this to remove queued samples. You can drag experiments to the trash before the sample is queued. Here, I will drag an experiment to trash. Now, I will drag the entire sample to trash. Press the red start button if the robot will break a sample or hit a person. All samples on the Mercury 300 will be submitted through the sample changer. Samples that take more than 30 minutes must go to the night queue. Thank you for watching this video. There are printed handouts available.